All right, let's have some fun with some ice effects. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So today we're gonna have some fun with two miniatures that came in the Marvel Zombies extravaganza of miniatures that are in clear blue plastic. And people are wondering, well, how would you paint that? One's undead and one's not, and they're made out of ice. It's Iceman. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna use a whole bunch of different frost effects, ice effects, uh, crackle effects, all sorts of weird stuff on these two miniatures. I hope that you guys like how they turn out. So let's get to the table and start painting. So the first thing I did is took the uh, Army Painters uh, Anti-Shine Matte Varnish and sprayed them down like a primer so that at least the uh, paints and the textures and all that stuff was going to actually stick to these miniatures. Now I made them a little less translucent, a little bit more sh less shiny, but it's going to help along the way. And we're starting off with a Green Stuff World's Crackle Paint called Winterfell Plains. This is going to give a nice ice effect. As that dries, it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm using the Green Stuff World Liquid Frost. This is so cool, this stuff. It goes on clear, and as the hours go by, it actually like uh, starts to grow icicles or grow um, actual like pieces of, of, of snow ice. Like, However, they are very fragile and can break easily. And if you put this on top of another paint, it will eventually suck up that color. It happened with me with the Hero Quest miniature I painted. Uh, I found that it sucked it up. A few hours later. And then uh, we have this really awesome effect with the crackle paint and the uh, liquid frost. All right, Beowulf Blue is gonna be my very first color I'm gonna be using as a speed paint on top of the zombie, or not the zombie hero, sorry, the hero Iceman. Uh, again, there's a zombie version and a hero version of this one. And I want to paint these two together because they're pretty much very similar in the paint structure and all that, but they're also the two translucent ones in the box. Uh, I'm using Thunderbird Blue on the zombie version just to give them like a green, eerie look to the ice almost like a soul style as you can see i'm just dabbing some of that on where those little frosticles grew and then i'm using a blue tone on some of the ice and where the um the crackle paint was and as i was doing that some of the middle crackle paint was starting to come off now i'm assuming that's where maybe some of the anti-shine varnish didn't get on uh so it didn't stick very well and it was crackling right off and then I did the same thing here to the skull here that he's producing, uh, the crackle paint as well. And, just, and as you can see, it's bringing back that shine to the miniature, which is exactly what we want, right? We want these translucent miniatures to show up. Other people have painted these things and just completely covered them up in paint and you don't see that translucence. I want to keep it, even though now I'm doing some dry brushing of Ice Storm on top of the two figures. Um, it's still going to keep that nice dark blue undertone or the light thunder blue undertone here, but also give it now like a frosty effect to that miniature. I'm coming back with the crackle paint one more time just to make sure that I got those areas that fell off a while ago. I'm also not going to be covering the entire skull with it to give that an even cooler effect. It's going to be really neat. Uh, and then I'm gonna spark, uh, sprinkle some ice sparkles on top of it anywhere that's still a bit wet and that's gonna get absorbed and do something really cool. A few hours later. I'm gonna let that dry again and we're gonna come back now and put a gloss varnish on top of the figures. Um, it's just gonna make them a little bit more shiny, make them look more icy. It's gonna make it come back out. And it actually keeps that little, the, like, you, I don't know if you can see it too well in design, but in person you see really well, like, where I put those ice sparkle effects, it actually, like, makes it look like, yeah, you can see, like, as if, like, there's, like, a pus growing out of them, but a frozen pus. So anyways, there you have it, folks. Iceman as a hero and as a zombie are painted and completely ready for the table. I hope you enjoy these videos, folks. We'll see you all in the next one.